All right, all right, all, all right. All right, all right, all right. We're back. Hi. And I'm still Jeff. <laughs> I'm me. I'm still me. Uh, I'm still me. <laughs> yeah. I'm her. Yeah. Keenan yeah. has transcended into a different being, though. He's My- now the supreme Keenan. <laughs> <laughs> Grandmaster Keenan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Keenan and Rachel, thank you for joining us tonight. It's been kind of like oh, yeah. a, a fun ride so far, you know? Absolutely, baby. I made my work call. All right. So, oh. Rachel, your front yes. of the house expertise mostly. I assume, I think I that's right. Yes, sir. All right. So um, who would you rather like serve or dine with? Misfits or Sex Pistols? Well. <laughs> um, you know what? Like. Who died first? (laughs) (laughs) I think Sid Vicious did. (laughs) And one of my favorite points in rock and roll, being my love for rock and roll, um, Freddie Mercury once said, I had a conversation with Sid Vicious, and he called him... Oh, I can't remember what it was. I fucked up. Uh, maybe like derogatory terms or <laughs> no it well a, a sex pistol sex <laughs> pistol because he died <laughs> Johnny Rotten sure did yeah Wait, I think Johnny Rod's still alive, by the way. Oh, I meant Sid Vicious. <laughs> yeah. Sid, yeah. Sid, Sid, Sid Vicious Thanks for calling died. me out there, you know. Sid Vicious died at, like, 21, for yeah. sure. They made a movie mm. about it, and they Johnny made... Rod got to watch it, because he's still alive. <laughs> 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 and he was oh, like, geez. oh, yeah, that's, uh, that's Sid Vicious dying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Man, what was on the soundtrack for that one? I mean, I'm guessing a lot of sex pistols. <laughs> well, it's so funny. You like you see like what's what's all the movies that have come out. So you have Queen, and you have Alan John, and all of the movies that have come out, like documentaries. That have I'm come waiting. Out. I think they're building to like a an Avengers type of scenario. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, it's going to be like, we're going to get to see a fictional event that didn't exist. Like, Easy e is performing no, exactly. with David Bowie <laughs> exactly. and fucking Elton John. I mean, yeah. Maybe like, if they had like the 27 Club, you know? Yeah. I mean... Well, no, and like, I've seen like, I've seen something about uh, Brad Pitt. <laughs> <laughs> 27 Club is totally phase two stuff, Jeff. You don't want to get Brad- into that too early. Right. <laughs> I'm looking ahead. I'm looking ahead. Yeah. Brad Pitt has been working on a project um, for Chris Cornell. Hmm. There's yeah. no fucking way Brad Pitt could pull off Chris Cornell. He's not playing Chris Cornell. He's doing a documentary on Chris Cornell. Okay, that makes yeah. more sense. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we like, can compromise I, there, I suppose. Yeah, nobody's playing Chris Cornell. He's just doing a documentary because fuck you if you want to play Chris Cornell. You're not going to do it. I vote for Benicio Del Toro. (laughs) Benicio Benicio Del Toro could make an excellent Chris Cornell. (laughs) Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, he's very attractive. And so is Chris Cornell. He's got those fucking eyebrows. No, I will never forget the day Chris Cornell died and I was in Telluride and we had expected like a full on dry off season. And I knew when I woke up in the morning, we were going to have a foot of snow. And I woke up in the morning and I look on Instagram, 730 in the morning. First thing I do, like no problem. And this person that I follow, Vinyl Ranch, shout out. And I see this photo and it's a young Chris Cornell. And I'm like, fuck yeah. But like, <laughs> God, he's so fucking hot. And it says hashtag RIP. Oh, shit. That's always I, the worst way to find out about I, something. I'm like, like, what's that guy doing? I'm Aww. like, no. Aww. And I'm like, really? And then I start going through everything and I'm like, oh, Chris Cornell is dead. 
I'm like, yeah, the search is through yeah. it. And like, um, ah! it's heavy. It's heavy. I have like base, like, I don't give a fuck about like what I've grown up with. My music influences. That's the one that hurt the worst. Oh man. Yeah. That was, you a, know? Pretty, that was a pretty hard yeah. one. Like yeah. that was one thing that I like, you know, beginning of the morning, I was like, I'm trying to have a good day. And I see that and I'm like, no, I refuse. <laughs> yeah. I refuse. <laughs> yeah. I understand you there. Like, um, my first one was like a, I remember the day that Kurt Cobain died. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And like a, that was like a pretty solid with me. Like, oh fuck! Like, I guess like death happens to everybody. You yeah. Know? <laughs> I mean, yeah. And, yeah. But it did not hurt nearly as much as when a uh, Dimebag Daryl went down. Oh yeah, yeah. that was yeah. the yeah. hardest True. one. Well, yeah. and yeah. also too, my dad, like growing up in Fort Worth, my dad knew Dimebag Daryl as a child. Oh yeah, man, mm-hmm. that, that's he rough. knew him yeah. as a kid. Who yeah. came to their bar? Who was just like, yeah, I'm gonna play some guitar, and they knew him as a kid. And this bar also opened up on my birthday. Oh, jeez. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, it it hit me pretty hard when Jim Morrison died. Yeah, uh, you yeah. weren't there. <laughs> well, no. Listen, what was it? Uh, what about ninety eight? And then I get to the end of that movie, and it's like. Yeah. No. <laughs> oh, Val Kilmer, what happened? Val <laughs> Kilmer, what happened, Valley? Yeah. <laughs> also, is it just me or does Jim Morrison look a lot like Val Kilmer? <laughs> Dude, Jim Morrison is so hot, but. <laughs> I think he was a fucking idiot and a shitty poet at the same time. Oh, you know, listen well, to like, you over there, naysayer, no, no. say no. nay. He he did a lot of peyote, and he did. good for he him. He did a lot of peyote. Yeah. <laughs> he did a lot of peyote. Yeah. I'm not saying he wasn't an amazing front man. You know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> However, everybody so. did better. <laughs> yeah. Break on to the to the other side. Like, yeah, we've been trying to do that this whole time. You haven't done <laughs> enough peyote. <laughs> That's what he's telling yeah. you. He's like, come on, guys, it's fun yeah. over here. Like Jim, you just shit yourself on stage. Shit. Break on through, go to the other side. <laughs> yeah. Now, it's kind of funny now. I think about it. Like uh, the last time I was like way up north on the northeast coast side of things, I was passing through uh, New Haven, Connecticut, and I made it a point to stop outside the theater that Jim Morrison got arrested for indecent exposure at. Yeah. <laughs> I tried the door. The door was locked, but like I just stood outside that theater. Like, oh yeah. Maybe like 30 years ago, Jim Morrison got arrested for a decent exposure at this theater. They should rename the theater. Yeah. Mm. and The Morrison's Jimmy's Theater. (laughs) (laughs) Morrison's Jimmy's Theater. Uh, Little Jimmy Morrison's. Little Jimmy Morrison's Morrison's Theater. Yeah, (laughs) Yeah, I don't know. Like, um, old school people, old school things like that. Like, um, on that same, like, East Coast trip, I stopped in Baltimore at a graveyard, and I went and visited Edgar Allan Poe's Close. grave. Yeah. Now, the trippy thing about that particular graveyard is they still had, like, a bells that were uh, attached to, like, uh, the tombstones. Yeah. You yeah. know, so, I mean, like... <laughs> in, in case, case you buried yeah. somebody that was alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I, like, in like, case pull you're still string alive, pull the string. <laughs> but, yeah, like, walk through an empty graveyard looking for Edgar Allan Poe's grave and hear, like, random chimes of, like, just bells, like, in the wind or whatever, you know. Yeah, <laughs> definitely an experience. Yeah, I smoked, I smoked a fatty on uh, Billy the Kid's grave. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that was fun. Uh, yeah, allegedly, was, his grave. Yeah, allegedly. No, that was kind of funny too because the dude totally shut down. He totally yeah. shut down the end of Young Guns too for me because there was a guy who was like running the Billy the Kid historical fucking shop in the town near his grave and I talked to him and he's like no my my dad worked here when that guy came through and that guy was total bullshit and I was like what like how do you know he's like cuz my dad looked at him and said hey how's it going billy in spanish and he didn't speak spanish yeah <laughs> oh. billy the kid's fluent in fucking spanish yeah, yeah. Like, he greeted him like a friend Dude didn't know him, and uh, <laughs> yeah, they look like a uh, William yeah. H. Bonney old school guy. Yeah, yeah. full uh, of shit. Brushy <laughs> Bill. Yeah, Brushy Bill. There yeah. you go. And apparently, there's a rival. It's a Texas town that has a rivalry with Fort Sumner, and Fort they've Sumner. also stole. They stole uh, Billy the Kid's gravestone at one point. 
Yeah. <laughs> and brought it to that town, and they were trying to claim his real grave was there. And then when that fell through, the brushy Bill dude showed up and was like, I'm Billy the Kid. Yeah. And everyone's like, no, you're well, not. I knew Billy yeah. the Kid. Billy, <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, Billy the Kid has, like, roots up in Telluride. Yeah. 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 This whole, the what? whole really? New Mexico, yeah. Southwest Colorado yes. area. He robbed a bank. Southwest, man. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He robbed a bank in Telluride? Or, I mean, it, it seems like a really odd for me for like a Billy the Kid to go much further than where we're at right now in Durango, you know? He's a New Mexico guy, you know? I could see him like a falling like the river up north, you know, hanging out here in like a Durango, but like we're on the Southwest side of things. But Telluride, like, did he really actually like, just go vacation up there or something? He didn't vacation up there. He's lucky for he took, more. Yeah, he was, just went yeah, to bank, no, yeah. he was a yeah, he was a bank robber. Yeah, Billy the Kid. That's what yeah. he did. And I mean, if, eventually H. you get Bonnie. to a point. There you go. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Because back in the day, uh, also you got to think about the fact that even big towns or towns that are big now were super small back then, so it wasn't like you could hang around a town and rob a yeah. bank twice. It's yeah. like, I robbed Lincoln. It's like, yeah. Like, yeah. I, I gotta robbed get the out one bank, and now I've got to leave, because the 70 people that live in Lincoln all know what I yeah, look no, like. Yeah, no, it's just like yeah. the Battle of Lincoln. Yeah. 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 <laughs> just like, yeah, bitches, I gotta get out. <laughs> I love, I, love, I love good history and shit like that. I'm yeah, a total nerd for shit like that. Yeah. yeah. I guess so. Like, um, I think, okay, so there's a town that might have a thousand people. You'd assume they'd have one bank. And so if you have a fresh horse, stroll in, stroll out, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I mean, it's, you're also not like a regular dude. You know, you got to think about that. Too, yeah. Because uh, pretty. Pretty quickly, like, local celebrity was big back then. So after a while, like, yeah. you yeah. roll in and roll out. But as you're strolling in, everyone you pass is like, oh, Billy oh, the Kid. kid yeah. Oh, tell everyone, Billy the Kid's in town. Yeah. Yeah. I've got no time for autographs. I'm here to rob a bank. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then you get to the bank and they're like, nah, we're, we're all waiting in front of the bank. Like, people yeah. have been talking about you and getting to town And then there's two dudes forever. in yeah. the middle of the road just like, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. Well, so back then, do you think that like, uh, those banks were federally insured to where like? Oh fuck no! Fuck no! no that's why they all had shotguns. No. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you don't carry a shotgun if you're insured. Yeah. You're like, take the money. I'm insured. There was no like insurance didn't have a thing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I was like just trying to talk up for like Billy the Kid here. Like maybe like he's just robbing from the government who like reimburse like uh, the bank accounts he robbed. Yeah. No. Yeah, not so much. No. no. He's no. robbing mm. from fuckers and giving it to yeah, fuckers. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, all the money areas are up here. <laughs> I mean, that's, yeah. <laughs> they're, 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 that's not, like, it's, it's the Wild West. Everyone was an asshole in some form or another. <laughs> well, see, and that's the thing. It's just like, you know, like, it came, we, we're coming from the Wild West based on where we're at. Yeah. And we're trying to make a whole new world <laughs> aside from that. Yeah. But also, too, just like, do you understand that we're coming from just like, hey, you got a gun? <laughs> Bye. Yeah. Well, and yeah, and with the Wild West era thing, too, like, death was so common for yeah, people. Yeah, exactly. At a certain point, yeah. they just had to get over it. Yeah. You know, at a certain point, it was no longer like, Jimbo died. It was like, oh, no, yeah. Jimbo died cleaning his gun. Yeah. Oh, that fucker. Let's make a funny joke on yeah. his headstone. Yeah. Look at this guy. Like he yeah. looked down the barrel of his own gun. Yeah. Oh, geez. You make yeah. it sound like a, the it's... Wild West is more like East Coast rejects. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I couldn't yeah, make it like in me. fucking Baltimore or D.C. Yeah. or New York. I couldn't make it yeah. there. So I'll go this direction. <laughs> you know? Yeah. But really though, if you go to if especially old graveyards like Wild West era graveyards, yeah. they all have everyone has little jokes on their headstones yeah. instead yeah. of like fancy phrases oh. to die by, like it's shit like Some... he came to town looking for a horse, then got kicked in the head by one. L O L One of my <laughs> like I, I've seen these headstones just like the sexiest grandma I've ever seen. And it's just like, oh yeah, like Anita, the sexiest grandma. Yeah. And I'm just wow. like, oh yeah. Here, here lies Bernice, the one legged whore that could do something yeah. with her good arm that would make you forget about the weird one. Yeah. Uh, that's a sold epitaph. You know? yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. uh, speaking like uh, the cemeteries, like I went up to Silverton eh, a while ago, you know, 
we'll call it a couple years because that rounds out better. But I was walking through like a, that cemetery up there, and yeah, fucking like a, the epitaphs on these tombstones were fucking magnificent. You know. <laughs> See, okay, one of my favorite. Do you guys like the band? The band, the band. No, I don't like music. No, okay. no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. no. Don't like I, feel, I feel like I might. I don't know. You know, <laughs> the band, the band, take a load off fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. So, I was 18 years old walking around this fucking, uh, like, tombstone in South Florida. And I'm just walking around all these gravestones. And me being who I love the band so much. And I just see this little tiny square... Nothing special. Like there, like the fact is, it's like there were so many mausoleums around the place. It's like, oh yeah, but all I see is a square that says "Fanny" in all caps, <laughs> and I'm like, oh yeah, take a load off Fanny. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> okay. Take, take a yeah. Load. All right, I'm getting take the correlation there. Take a load there. for free. Yeah, I see. Fucking I see. That's dude. crazy. I, and I was like 18 years old and was like, I grew up on that music. And like, I see, I was like, oh, Fanny took a load off. <laughs> yeah. You know? <laughs> right here. She's yeah, yeah. yeah, right here. Right here. And yeah. just like a simple old, like, just like, you know, square. Yeah. Like headstone. <laughs> Nothing special. Nothing fancy. And I'm just like, oh, good job, Fanny. Good job. And yeah. it's just like Fanny in all caps. I'm like, yes, ma'am. Oh, that's uh, like kind of like halfway magical right there. Because yeah. I mean, like exactly, it's been done. like her journey has been done. You know? Yeah, yeah. Fanny you know. took a load off, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the final load off. Yeah. yeah, she took the final load off uh, right here. Tag. Huh, here we are. Yeah, like uh, <laughs> epitaphs up in the cemetery in Silverton are worth reading. You know, I mean, yeah. I do think you know. Oh, not I love like, it. Not just like sound like all gothic or creepy or whatever you know, but. Yeah. Like, when you go like to a, a new place in a new part of the world that you've not been yeah. to before, take a stroll through the cemetery. No, that's I yeah, mean, that's yeah. what I was doing Speak when lots. I this was <laughs> this was a graveyard in Pensacola in like Old Town Pensacola. Oh shit, yeah, that is South of Florida. <laughs> yeah, and I was just like, God damn, and I saw that, and I'm like, that like it wasn't like oh like I was pretty sober for the most part, and I just saw that, and I'm like, oh wow. <laughs> this is actually kind of fucking cool. Yeah, it's touching. Yeah. It's touching, yeah. yeah. When I was at that cemetery in Silverton, like, uh, I walked through, like, a few of them, you know, like, uh, different, like, epitaphs. You know, like, one was, like, a three graves, like, uh, brothers. Like, they're all, like, uh, brothers. They died in a mining accident. And, like, yeah. we're all buried side by side. Like, well, shit, that sucks, you know? Yeah. yeah. But, like, uh, you get into that, like, that's what you're getting into, you know? Yeah. And, like, another one was, like, uh, some dude died by complications with alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, well. It can yeah. happen pretty often back then. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Before the FCC came along, <laughs> you'd be surprised when they call alcohol. <laughs> yeah, Drink this. Sure. <laughs> Are you blind? Uh, no. Yeah. It's good. Serve it. Yeah. Wait, I can't see anything. Shit, pull that back. <laughs> <laughs> Not till I'm done with it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, and like another one, like even was just like, uh, there's an epitaph of like some guy who died from complications of civil war wounds. Yeah, I was like, holy fucking shit! Like this cemetery is kind of fucking old. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I or, think my favorite I saw was uh, it just said no one knew his name, didn't bother to ask. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and it was like an old wooden cross, and I was like, that is pretty hard. Yeah. <laughs> He's dead. He He's is. dead. Yeah, uh, he walked into town. And but like, what a she, hardcore she motherfucker! He's yeah, just like, does. hey, I don't give a fuck what you have to say. I'm done. Boom. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> oh man, the journey it took to get to, for that motherfucker to get to that point. You know, I mean, <laughs> yeah, because he probably lived lives before. To the whole thing. Yeah. yeah, I like that the 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 gravekeeper too probably fell on him, and everyone's just like, yeah, make say something nice on his uh, cross. He's like, yeah. well, yeah, sure. never yeah, knew his name. Well, didn't bother to uh, ask. That's what I always I tell. two or three times. Didn't bother to ask. That's what I always tell people. I was just like, put it on my fucking tombstone, bro. Yeah. I got a lot to say. Yeah. It's always going to be there. 
Yeah. Life's a grave. Dig it. Let's <laughs> have your tombstone be just the thickest stack of post-it notes cut into <laughs> the shape of a tombstone. Make it a real <laughs> bitch for everybody. Say what everybody. you want to say. Just flip together, on it. Yeah. <laughs> Make people hate you and yeah. just be like, oh, you motherfucker, you would do this. <laughs> Maybe Jeff lies here. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Exactly. Leave it yeah. open-ended. <laughs> Jeff is buried here. Go fuck. With a map to treasure that he <laughs> hid. <Yes. laughs> yeah. In theory. <laughs> yeah, I don't yeah. know, like uh, epitaphs, like all that shit. Like, um, yeah. Uh, I recently like, uh, was watching a movie where they had one line in there, like where two antagonists were like uh, going at each other verbally, and uh, one antagonist says to the other one, "Aren't you afraid of dying?" And the other antagonist says, "Do you remember what it was like to be scared in 1807?" Neither do I. Wasn't there? You know. Yeah. True. I like that dismissal, yeah. like that matter of fact dismissal about things. You know. I mean. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's what I have to teach myself to go through, like, living day by day. Like, I ain't scared of a lot of shit, but, like, day by day, like, yeah, I'm scared. But when you put it into perspective, like, the way you just put it, like, yeah, bring it. Yeah, I got no worries about that. Yeah. Right now, I'm more focused on, like, uh, living my life and choosing when to be a douchebag you know yeah. i try not to be a douchebag <laughs> yeah. but like, i will actively choose to be a douchebag reserve when, reserve when your fucks that. for yeah. when they're needed yeah. yeah exactly you know but yeah. like, make sure you save up some for later in life yeah, <laughs> yeah for sure i've got like a, a repertoire of douchebagginess that yeah. can yeah. be depleted i don't want to deplete it you know yeah. <laughs> no pick and choose like live your life you know i mean yeah. seriously yeah do your best to Make the world a better place than you left it. Yeah. And after that, fuck all, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Where's my soapbox? Oh, <laughs> yeah. 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 Or that yeah. was a moment about death from Jeff. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. So uh you were talking about I heard you talking about foreign food on the break. If you traveled food. abroad. I have a, a little bit, yeah. yeah t- tell us, tell us about it. Um, so, so we're talking about foreign food. Where, like, I can tell you about the food. Like, if I put myself in a point, like right here, right now, if I were to stab this motherfucker with a rusty, <laughs> like, if I could stab him with a rusty knife and have some fucking beautiful street <laughs> I love you <laughs> if I could have if I could stab him with a rusty knife and get some fucking actual street fruit food I'm talking you know outside of Krabi like Thai food right like just like a little girl who was serving me some rice and some good fucking Thai food. Uh, I would, I would. Oh, I <laughs> <laughs> um, Damn, I'm happy you have some thick skin I there. Yes, yes. Some, yes. I was gonna say you got really deep into the murder, but not well, nearly no, as deep. I know. I was like, I was just talking about the food. Uh, like, what kind of Thai well, food are we talking? No, we got a little girl like, and rice, that's and the three thing. stab wounds. That's the thing. <laughs> some of the some of the best street food I've ever had, like, not even some of like most more than the outskirts of what I've like experienced. Like, yeah, we are outside of Phuket. Fuck it, as people like, call it. <laughs> you, know, you know, that took me a second to Phuket. Yeah, Phuket. Phuket. Oh, it's got an H in it. Fuck it. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck it. It's Phuket. And we were, we took a plane up to Chiang Mai and we went up to Pai and all this stuff. And honestly, some of the best Thai food that I have ever had. And granted, we weren't falling out on anything. And we just walked down the road from this little like hostel that we had. And this beautiful girl, oh my God, she had the best accent and she was so cute. And you could tell she probably had a child. And I ordered just like a 
a Thai basil stir fry and a, a Chang beer. And she gave us twice that. And we're just sitting there eating this. And I'm like, this is some of the best. Like, not only is this, like, the best food, but, like, the experience like yeah, that's the. Sh- I know, feel like the street just, food like, vibe. Like holy yeah, yeah. fuck, I'm just mm-hmm. I'm sitting there. I'm like, this is probably one of the best meals I've ever had in my life. Okay, if you, you know? can like uh, dissect that for a second, like first of all, like it's the experience. So like um, the yeah. atmosphere that you arrived in. Yeah. Plus, so, like also like a with like a the mood they were in, like to have a good day. You know. Yeah. So my boyfriend at the time like we um so we were staying in Krabi like and that's like a big you know uh tourist town that a lot of people go to Krabi. and Krabi 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 Thailand <laughs> yeah and then sounds like an infection yeah. Yeah. yeah I caught a case of the Krabi yeah and so we caught a flight out of Phuket bucket yeah yeah <laughs> And so we stayed a night in Phuket, and some of the, that's what I was saying, it was like, some of the best Thai food that I've ever had, we, like, we walked out of our little bungalow, it was a sketchy place, for sure, and we're just walking down the road, and this super cute woman is just like, hey, do you want some food? We're just like, yeah. She brings us a beer. And we eat, so I like, I ate some of the best stir fry I've ever had in my goddamn life. And, no. and, yeah. and she, and like her, and her child is just like sitting there just like, oh yeah, do you want <laughs> do you want some water? And I'm like, oh baby, like whatever. <laughs> and I'm like, like, and this girl also spoke perfect English. Yeah. Like, it wasn't a matter of, like, oh, what do you want? Like, she straight up, like, came up to us, like, hey, bitches. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Like, and, like, not, like, obviously she didn't say that. <laughs> but she was like, hey, hey, white folk, like, what are you doing? And we're I just still, like. I still like to imagine that for the best friend. That, yeah. I mean, that would lure me in if I was walking well, through no, a foreign country and someone just walking, hey, bitches, you want some food? Well, no. Fuck yeah, yeah, let's well, get it yeah, on. Well, <laughs> and do it. For me, like, growing up as a child, I grew up on the edge of a ghetto. Like, I, like, I get that. Yeah. And she was just like, yeah. oh, yeah, let's, let's do it. And I was just like, okay. And we went back to our hotel, walked back up, and she was like, hey, you guys want to hang out? And next thing you know, we're partying with that family all <laughs> night. <laughs> oh, you know? Shit. Yeah. <laughs> Getting you know? down. Yeah. yeah. She was just like, and that's some probably some of the best food I've ever had in my fucking life. Yeah. Okay. So Good fucking and- stir fry. In retrospect, yeah. I do have to ask, were you hungry when you got to the place? Yeah, I had spent like 14 hours on a bus. So I was hungry. <laughs> yeah, a little bit hungry. I was, a hu- <laughs> I was yeah. hungry. But I was also curious, like, because before that place that I went to where I met that lovely woman, I probably walked three miles to get to where we were at. I think in Thailand they measure that in kilometers. Kilometers. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry, fact checking myself. Sorry. Yeah. Was that out loud? <laughs> no. I, no. But absolutely. seriously, I do think like um the very absolute best spice you could put on any food you want to make is hunger. You know. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. But yeah. also too, before that, I worked at a Thai restaurant. I oh, see. So yeah, yeah. You already um, feel in the Thai vibe. Well, I'm guessing not, if you went there, no, then you're probably feeling but, it somewhat. You know, that being said, like, like I said, I worked at a Thai restaurant in America. I worked, like, I worked for four years there. And I tried to communicate with all these people. Like, there, there was still always, like, a communication barrier or whatever. It wasn't like, oh, you know, yo quiero Taco Bell. Like, no. Like, it was just like, I really don't understand what the fuck you're saying. I got saying. nothing. Yeah. yeah. And, but they still sent us off and sent us to a place where we stayed in Bangkok for two weeks. And 
they took care of us and we learned how to actually you know get along you know like that's that. awesome yeah it's amazing how much like a uh, necessity drives one person over the communication barrier well yeah and also too like thai language aside from like thai lao whatever it's it's tonal like it's definitely not a romance language like uh, from no, latin or not. whatever you know? it's not at all like i spent uh, i spent 3 to you know 4 years in a thai restaurant and i'm like i still don't know had i been in the, in, in the spanish restaurant i i would probably be able to actually <laughs> speak better than opposed to what i'm you well, know, also, too, like with... I see that with a, especially with a Thai, Thai or Chinese or Mandarin or any of that, where it's yeah. like uh, you also don't have the option like you do with Spanish, where yeah. you could be like, write it down for me so I can pronounce True. it. And they write it down for yeah. you, and it's like, well, I don't know what you just wrote <laughs> down. And ah. a lo- what a lot of people don't get is when I say like, yeah, I worked in Telluride, I worked at this Thai restaurant, and. When people, when I tell people I worked at a Thai restaurant, they're like, oh, and this is nothing against Mexicans or anything. It's like, I worked with a Thai kitchen. You <laughs> they, know? They were, they were actually Thai people. They were yeah. Thai people, and I still can't. You know, like, I tried, ever, like, when I would tip out my kitchen and everything, it'd be like, ka prun ka. And I would, we would try and talk all the time, mm-hmm. and they brought me in, and I'm, I'm still just like I can't like, like it doesn't connect because it's a, such a tonal language. Because yeah. when I went to Bangkok, my ex and I at the time, we went out with a bunch of people our age. We had this big communal dinner, and we were talking about curse words. And we brought up the whole, like, <laughs> motherfucker. And they all just, like, were like, no, you just don't say that. Yeah. And There's no version of that in our language. They were just like, yeah, <laughs> you just don't do that. Yeah. And we're like, okay. Yeah. And so it was just like, yeah, like, being in America and, like, my boss at the time was such a bitch. Oh, my God. And I was just like... I was like, I felt I related more to the Thai people as opposed to who I was working with, who were such assholes. Okay. You well, know? Uh, first of all, good on you for not stepping over those boundaries. You know, like they said, like, don't say the word motherfuckers or whatever, you know? Yeah. I myself, I you tell me not to push that button, and guess what? <laughs> Could you imagine well, learning, a, a, and- like, if there was a language that actually did not have any swear words like but learning that, a new language but, where you're uh, like fuck How that. I- that was the thing that that was the thing it was just like when we went to bangkok and the people who worked in our kitchen who are our age so i'm talking like i'm i'm only 28 now but so they're like we're 24 whatever and we go to a dinner have a big old you know dinner together and and like everybody like all the thai people that were around can speak perfect english and so we're just having a conversation about like curse words and when we bring up the whole i think it was motherfucker and they were just like no you just don't say that it's like no you just don't do that Hmm. Motherfucker? You, Motherfucker. You mean the highest dishonor you could possibly achieve? In yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Like, I'm just like, no, you just don't do that. And we're like, okay. Because, like, they tried to, like, s- like figure it out. Like, how do you, you know. But, it, like, after that, we were just like, okay, we, d- like, motherfucker mm-hmm. is not a word to be said. Not a word to be said, mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> Well, I got two things to say about that. First and foremost, I need to invent new curse words because I've already ran through like <sighs> my whole like vocabulary of curse words, you know. Mother father. <laughs> I have to say too, just it just occurred to me how silly that is for a culture too. Like, I'll have fucking twenty lady boys sent up to your room right fucking now, but you say motherfucker, <laughs> you are out. Well, you are true. out. <laughs> yeah. And that's a good point. That's a good Well, and also too, like 
I don't know, a, a really good friend of mine, I guess there was a, po- like, I, I don't follow TikTok, I don't have a TikTok account, but there was this woman who just, like, making a scene, and was just like, you have to be nice to men who hit on you, and like, we're uh, just some like, weird version of a Karen? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and no, and my friend's just like, I it's would... A, it's a reverse Karen, they're just yelling positive advice to you. Yeah. Be nice to others! <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, shit. apparently it was just like this one bitch who like made this thing. It's just like you have to be nice to men who hit on you. She's like, yeah, sure. But my friend made a thing, and she's like, like, yeah, I was nice to a man. I showed him my tattoos, and next thing you know, he tried to drag me into his car, and like all this stuff. Yeah. And I'm just like, what are you? Yeah. <laughs> she's like, what are you trying to do? Yeah. You you don't have to be nice to your attackers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Well said, Dusty. Yeah. Well said. And yeah. On like uh, the other like coin, like uh, the motherfuckers words, you know, like uh, maybe a few months ago at work, I was in the weeds, like fucking getting my ass ran over by just orders and orders and orders, and so like I was cursing to myself. In English, in uh-huh. motherfucker, motherfucker, mother, yeah. you know, and then all of a sudden, like a uh, my <laughs> Espanol homie, you know, my amigo, uh-huh. you know, he learned the word motherfucker pretty quick, yeah, and now he overuses it, like, yeah, where's all the motherfuckers at, you know, like, <laughs> I I know we don't have a ticket right now, but like the customers will be coming, you know, yeah, hey, <laughs> so, <laughs> hey motherfucker, yeah. hey buddy. Yeah, it's funny when it goes like to that side of things too. I mean, yeah, <laughs> misappropriated yeah. use is kind of comical sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, when I worked uh, in Texas, there was one place I worked, and it was funny because it was kind of one of those miscommunication scenarios. But there was three of the dudes, and it was a uh, it was an all Hispanic kitchen except for me. Like everywhere from Mexico all the way down to. South America. There were different varieties, different countries, different cliques. But um, yeah. they definitely have the, their ethnicities. You yeah. Know? yeah, yeah. There's you know, about that. Hondurans, Ecuadorians, yeah. uh, Mexicans. Yeah. But uh, you're you're the gringo in this yeah, kitchen. Yeah, I'm the gringo. And, of course. Uh, the funny thing was that uh, a couple of the dudes had gotten a thing together where they would call all the servers that they found attractive. I think it was Chibaro or Chaparro, and all the girls. The way they said it, they were like, oh. <laughs> Until one day when they were walking out, and one of the dudes who was more bilingual, they asked him, they're like, Paco, what does it what does it mean when, when he calls us this? And he's like, Oh, it means uh short. Short. Like the rap guys, you know? I, you, short, short, well, you're short. I don't think so. It means shorty. Shorty. Like, shorty. Like, it yeah. means shorty. Yeah. But it literally so. means shorty. Yeah. The, no. Get a wet out. Yeah. Well, yeah. I thought Chipado means farting. You know? Well, I might have pronounced it wrong. So. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not known for my pronunciations. Yeah. These R's don't roll. Well, I Chaparro. I Chaparro. That's not even R, Rachel. That's weird. I'll have those parios. I Chaparro. Chibaro. It, it means like a, yeah, like, see, see, that's guy, when I say it. It sounds like a sub shop. <laughs> Chibaro. Chibaro. When like uh, the goes at work, or, like a uh, squeezing like uh, the last of a squeeze bottle, and it makes that like wonderful farting noise. <laughs> they say, "Oh, I Chaparro," you know, which means I think they they're saying like, "Oh, I'm farting," you know. <laughs> My interpretation could be wrong too. So that's just a, now probably means it's short. A short fart? No, that's just short. You're, you're short. On the top. You're out. out. You're short. Yeah. I don't think so. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah. I know that. Yeah. I know that what the, the what they were saying was short. That they short. That they were saying. What they were saying. That they were saying. <laughs> that was saying short. Uh. Shorty. <laughs> but it was funny watching the instant change in demeanor of all the waitresses once they found that out, <laughs> and it went from like, "Oh, he called me that thing. That's so cute." To like, stop calling me that, Paco. <laughs> I'm not short. <laughs> stop it. Stop it. Oh, that's uh, silly. Why is it in my ass? 
But yeah, like, uh, the evolution of language in the kitchen is fantastic across all Fantastico. borders. Uh, fantastic. Sí, señor. Um, <laughs> yeah, fucking me. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I got tasked with a new one at work the other day of teaching Spanish to a 19-year-old <laughs> co-worker. I told you, have him teach you uh Social media. It's a fair exchange. <laughs> no, He's a nineteen year old. He knows all about the TikToks and the Snapchats and the Instagrams. Yeah, that shit. I think I'm gonna try to become less social unless I'm hitting the record button on these fucking yeah. podcasts, you know. <laughs> no. Well have him teach you. So you can teach me. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I don't want to get social, but I mean people want to hear the podcast. Ooh. I don't know what a tumbler is, but I've what's the tumbler? I love it, Tumblr. It rolls down a hill. That's, That's what I thought. I, 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 or, or it's a Tumblr. Cup. I've you had a Tumblr since hell. I was It's real solid, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, I had one too, but I used it to like uh, polish stones. Um, <laughs> I used right. mine for the bingo uh, uh, raffle. <laughs> <laughs> you just that you put the balls in and you roll them around. <laughs> Fucking bring those back like yeah. a... Bingo, raffler, tumbler we things. Need to use, we need to use those for more things than regular everyday life. I think we should eliminate lines at any place you go. You just, you just, put you just go in, and, and every like, 10 uh, minutes there's a drawing. Like, you gotta go stand in, stand in a group at the convenience store, and you're like, I'm B49, what are you? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Uh, oh, it's 5 o'clock, like, it's time uh, for the drawing. Yes. Who gets to buy their cigarettes first? I forty six. Yes. yes my <laughs> oh my god, that's such a good. All right, photo. so like, definitely can make it like for non gambling purposes. <laughs> <laughs> so like, um, no, I'm all when, about the gambling. When do you get off work? Oh, you know? Roll a tumbler. Like... <laughs> yes. What time? One time. Here we go. Here we go. We got six tickets in here. Yeah. Sometimes you win. Sometimes you lose. You know. <laughs> it's like you are closing. <laughs> Fuck. Dude, I always get closing. It's, it's full tonight. of balls that just say closing. So. All right. I what time do you go into work tomorrow? Roll it again. <laughs> no, you just got to be a playthrough artist. That's what you got to do. Yeah. <laughs> playthrough. Hmm. Yeah, bring the tumblers so. back for more than just rock polishing. Yeah. <laughs> I've never polished rocks before, but. Yeah, no, neither have I. I'd yeah. assume it wouldn't be soothing <laughs> My work. Oh, yeah. It'd be the opposite, Baby like, girl. ah, nice. Mellow day of That's rock right. polishing. <laughs> no, I attached a battery to it to where it tumbled Do we want to have a little snort off battle? <laughs> oh shit. Dusty versus fucking Rachel, the snort off. <laughs> <laughs> well, Rachel laughed first, so I think Dusty won. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, I think I got back up in my corner. You lay down. You lay down. You lay down. That's okay. Lay down. Yeah. Once again, for like uh, all the listeners out there who are under the age of fourteen, do not follow our example. <laughs> Shit, I hope there's none of you. If you if you're listening to this and you're under the age of fourteen, you turn it off. Go to bed. Shirt. Get a life. Go to bed. Avoid it's the too, whatever now, time it is. I don't care if it's like ten a.m. If go you to are forty five and a half years old, you just need to yeah, just like call it, bitch. <laughs> Wait, just what? give up. What, what the fuck? Give up. That went the opposite direction. If you're yeah. so, if you're 14, turn it off. If I you're 45 and over, 45 just call and it. Call it. You're done. Just call yeah, just it. give up. You know, no one likes you. No one likes you. <laughs> Let your hair fall out and listen to our podcast. I want my hair to fall out. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> ah, yeah. shit. Well, while we're all here, like um. Do you guys have any questions for us while we're like a doing like our whole Halley Boys thing? I will answer truthfully. <laughs> but Keenan, do not bring up the whole corn dog scenario. I know you got fucked over on that day, <laughs> but <laughs> okay, I got I got one for you. Uh, uh, what if there was one thing that you could take, and you had like no budget, and and you had a professional that would do it for you? One thing that you could just take and turn into a corn dog. We're talking. Uh, we're talking anything here. Rack a lamb corn dog. 
Rackle? Filet mignon corn dog. What do you? What do you? What's your dream corn dog here? Like a, what's the, my dream corn dog here? The rack of lamb is already like a <laughs> meat popsicles, basically. So I mean, meat popsicles. Yeah, no, no, I'm going the other way. I'm going big time. You cut off the bones and you stab that bitch with a stick. Hmm. Fry the whole rack. Yeah. <laughs> what? Whatever we could have as a corn dog. Anything. The dream corn dog here. <laughs> That that is a hard one. Well, maybe, but you know, I mean, I was thinking like a like the thymus gland from from beef. I was also thinking about like a organ meats. You know, I, I think like a, a solid like small kidney, like maybe like have a suckling pig would make like, an excellent corn dog. What about like a fagua corn dog? <laughs> Broth. That's dick. fancy. I think, <laughs> I think that'd be pretty rich. What about that'd be very top? rich, but I want like a special sauce to go with it that balances it out. Sauce. I think I think you guys are going too small. I'm talking like a beef tenderloin on oh, one of those uh, uh, one of those practice fighting. Bamboo samurai swords. <laughs> you got a two-handed, just fucking seventeen-pound dog. I'm walking around with. I syringe inject the middle of it with demi glaze. Oh damn! Go big or go home. Go big or go. I'm talking anything you could corn dog here. Yeah. I'm surprised, Dusty, uh, because like that's actually semi-reasonable. <laughs> I thought you'd go for like a, a Tyrannosaurus something or other. You know? yeah. <laughs> something I would have to have help with. It takes four people to carry this corn dog. <laughs> There's a mammoth buried in the ice in Antarctica. I want you to get that up for me. And I want this particular organ to be out of that one. Oh, and that batter and fry dog. it. Yeah. The whole mammoth. <laughs> just the, the whole dog. mammoth. <laughs> just a stick. Just a tree stuck up a mammoth's ass. <laughs> batter it. Fry it at the fair, put it in a wheelbarrow, and let me walk my ass around with it. <laughs> That's more apropos to what I was expecting yeah. from you, Dusty. <laughs> yeah. I just like the idea of walking around with a two handed sword equivalent of a corn dog, like it's Holy Diver, the music video. <laughs> Some people I, should never grow up. I, I, I'm just saying, I still want to see a whole soft shelled lobster on a corn dog. Oh yeah! Oh wow! <laughs> just, just like straight up, like claws and everything. That would corn that dog. would be the best—a lobster corn dog. It's like, uh, even <laughs> has a face. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> How did you get the lobster to make the face? Oh, what? Yeah. It you was stick dull. a stick in something and it was batter still alive it. In there. It'll make it. Yeah, because you can't kill a lobster <laughs> first. <so. laughs> Gonna have to just go at it with the stick tip as the bat or drop it the frying oil. You should have to stick up his ass. What face do you expect it to have? Uh, yeah, what face do you expect it to have? Uh, why do they all look surprised? Wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got like uh, some yeah. textural issues with lobster shell myself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a shellless lobster. They could probably make those. They probably could. <laughs> I want to genetically engineer a lobster, but <laughs> instead of an exoskeleton, I want it to grow sausage casing. Honestly, it grow like, bacon. that's a good photo. <laughs> yeah. 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 <coughs> oh. Yeah, this has been fun, guys. This yeah. has been a good old time. It's been dope. Yeah. Um, I, think, I think we've had a great time. What a great night. Yeah, are you guys ready to call it a night? I've only just begun. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff can do a 24 Jeff hour podcast. Jeff can do this all fucking Dude, night. I could do it too. I got out of bed for this. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I got out of bed for other reasons. <laughs> it's like you're close, you see. Yeah. yeah. Don't even say it to work. <laughs> you live the nightlife now. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know about that. Like, oh, shit. No, you stay up later than me, motherfucker. And I and wake I, up three keep, times as early as you do. And too. I keep vampire hours. <laughs> I keep I keep the sun will kill me if I see it kind of hours. Uh, you have two hands. You could have two umbrellas. One to block the sun. One to block the reflection of the sun off any reflective surface. Don't bitch about me double, about the double sun. Double umbrellas. No, I, I'm solar powered too. It's not a win for me to keep those hours. Oh, that's right. I forgot yeah. you actually like the sun. I love the sun, so it's not a win for me. But <laughs> nah, good old times, good old times. Yeah, oh, yeah. 
Um, hey, Keenan, Rachel, thank Keenan, you so Rachel, very much. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Well, thank you guys for coming on. It's we been great. Did having you. your best. <laughs> yeah, you did great. I think it's going to be a funny, fun experience. Uh, quite the extravaganza it no, was. Bring us back yeah. soon. Like, yeah. I want to do this more. Yeah. Oh, shit. Now I remember it. Kenan, uh, you're a river rat, and you said that you have to put me on your boat this year, you know? Oh, yeah. I, you, I, you, I told you, like, if you sat in on my podcast, I'd get on your fucking boat. We're, we're rafting at some point. We need to get waterproof cameras because you got to film that for us. Oh, yeah. some fucking GoPros? We got those. <laughs> we need, yeah, get no. some GoPros. Get footage. Get tons of footage. Oh, Dusty, you're coming too, right? Oh, uh, yeah, I'll come. I'll, yeah. I'll, no, I'll put both of you in the front for, of the for boat. me, it'll be a great time because I love the river. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'll yeah. be like, this is this fun, Jeff. And he'll be like, I'm fucking going to drown. <laughs> I'm going to die. It's all cold. It's all sunny. Like, everything sucks. You know, like, bars on that side of the river, but I'm in the middle of it. <laughs> yeah, we'll bring a whole bar with us. We'll bring yeah. the bar yeah. with us. Yeah, yeah. I'll stay with the bar. <laughs> I think last time I tried to float down a river was in Texas, and we got pulled over halfway down the river for having Jello shots in containers that were not <laughs> river certified. Oh no! So we had to sit there, and a group of like fifteen of us had to sit there and take seventy-five Jello shots (laughs) before we could move down. And then someone's like, "I made butterscotch pudding shots," and everyone just shut them down. I've never seen someone get so horribly shut down on like an idea (laughs) they tried. Like, try it. It's a snack and a shot. And it's like, that's fucking disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> I've got this is horrible. jello shots in me now. I need to just go lay on a raft until I'm sunburnt on one side. Yeah, they're from I, over. I, I get was trying right to there. die yeah. already. Can you not let me die on my yeah. own? Oh. Seriously, like, even like if you have a group of 12 people, like taking on 75 jello shots is no like yeah. underachieving yeah. thing. Go yeah. as quickly as you yeah. can just for like it all hit you at once. Yeah. Let's just almost say. Yeah. Oh my Famous God. last but, words. Fuck it. And the funny thing was, it was very quick into our journey. It was like we hopped on a river in in uh, in little floaties, and 15 minutes into the river journey, we got pulled over. Uh, and they they found the Jello shots. Didn't find all my weed, which was pretty good because they were yeah. they were cops. Uh, but they just made us drink okay, the Jello yeah. shots, and I'm even a couple of the way. people who were minors were—they just like, were like, what? You're not gonna I'm help? Super down. Like, like, yeah, I wasn't sure. allowed Fuck to yeah, drink, but if you're guy. telling me to, <laughs> we're sitting yeah. there like you weren't supposed to Some drink on this trip. It's a work trip. Lost. But the cop forced Some you to, so I can't shut. You. Can't shut you down yeah. right now. Can't shut you down. Go for it. Yeah. Well, yeah. Good night, yeah. everybody. It's yeah, it's been yeah. fun. Yeah. Uh, Happy uh, Zombie Jesus Day yeah. for everybody out there. Oh yeah. shit! Yeah. It yeah. Is zombie yeah. Jesus Day. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, that's when we're recording this. It's it's gonna be a, a week later than that when you guys are listening to yeah. it. But <laughs> <laughs> time travel, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> I'm contacting you from the past. In the time that I live in, wow. things are still shitty. How are they in your time? Hell, Satan. Still shitty. Hell still so shitty. It's only been a week. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we can hit stop real quick, and then we hit record again, and we can discuss this whole time travel thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the magic of time travel. Well. <laughs> nope. Yeah. Uh, huh? yeah. Good night, oh, everybody. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Cheers, y'all. Bye. Cheers. Cheers.